Sync.com is a cloud storage service that promises top-notch security, easy syncing, and seamless sharing, but does it live up to the hype? In this review, I'll explain everything Sync offers, from features and security to performance, ease of use, and pricing. We'll score each category out of five, so by the end, you'll know if it's the right fit for your needs. Sync also offers some surprising features that you won't find on Google Drive or Dropbox, but do they actually make a difference? Stick around to find out. And by the way, I've added special links in the description that you can use to save up to 60% on all the best cloud storage providers. All right, let's get into it. First, we'll discuss features. Sync offers five gigabytes of storage for free, which is a bit on the low side. However, you can also get unlimited storage, which I'll discuss later. There's no file size limit, so you can upload as many ridiculously large files as you want. Sync also has file versioning, a feature that saves precious file versions for some time and allows you to restore them if necessary. If you're anything like me, you will need to. Sync also offers 30 days of file versioning for free, but you can upgrade it to as much as a whole year. It's also nice that the stored versions don't take up any of your cloud storage space. You also get password protected sharing with the option to include link expiry dates and set the number of times your file can be downloaded. There's a desktop app, but it doesn't let you mount your drive as a virtual drive like Google Drive or OneDrive. Instead, you get a sync folder that automatically syncs your files to all your other devices. And it uses something called block level sync that only syncs the changes to your files and not the whole file, which is supposed to make sync speeds faster. There's also the vault, a folder where you can put files that you don't want to sync to your other devices over the cloud. I would honestly have loved a mount feature so I can, you know, access my files from Windows Explorer especially since the user interface of the web client, which we'll get to in a moment, leaves much to be desired. So I gave it a three out of five for features. Next, let's examine the ease of use. How does it feel to actually use the platform? Sync has a very simple and minimalistic design, maybe too minimalistic, because there is absolutely nothing going on. At the top, there is a blue rectangle and then white, just white. You have to admit, this isn't the best thing to look at. But that's just a personal gripe, nothing too serious. In fact, I found this hyper-minimalistic approach helpful because it makes everything so simple. You can access your files, vault, and starred files and see all your shared items right from the top bar. There's even an events tab where you can monitor everything that happens concerning your cloud or account. I prefer the mobile apps interface more than the web client and desktop app, also, it's nice that you can get more free storage by referring people to use the app. Moving away from aesthetics and onto functionality, you'll be happy to know that you can drag and drop files, but only to upload them. You can't use it to organize or move files around like with Google Drive. This is one of those small things you don't really realize you're taking for granted until it isn't there. So I'm going to give Sync a three out of five for ease of use. Now, let's explore Sync's strongest suit, security and privacy. They use zero-knowledge encryption, which means that your information is encrypted on your computer with a unique encryption key that only you know. That way, no one, not even Sync, can view your data after it's been encrypted. Many popular platforms like Google Drive or Dropbox do not use zero-knowledge encryption, opening up your data to prying eyes whenever you make a file transfer. So it's refreshing to see that the folks over at Sync care about our privacy enough to make this a standard feature. They are GDPR compliant, which stands for General Data Protection Regulation, which is a bunch of privacy laws enacted by the EU that give you more control over your data. TLDR, you want any company that's handling your private information to be GDPR compliant, and Sync.com is. It's also located in Canada, so it's compliant with PIPEDA, which is similar to GDPR. Pro Teams Unlimited plans have HIPAA compliance for US healthcare providers, which allows them to protect patients and their private information from prying eyes. All these certifications make Sync one of the most privacy-focused cloud services available, earning it a solid five out of five for security. So far, we've covered storage, features, and ease of use. But I'm curious, what's the most important thing for you when choosing cloud storage? Is it security, pricing, or maybe speed? Drop a comment down below and let me know what you prioritize. So Sync clearly takes security seriously, but how does it perform in terms of speed? Let's find out. Sync employs block level sync. 
It's a fancy way of saying that only the changed parts of your files get uploaded. This can speed things up significantly compared to services that re-upload the entire file every time. In practice though, upload and download speeds were decent, but not mind-blowing. Everything worked smoothly for smaller files. However, uploading really large files like gigabytes or terabytes can take a while, especially if you don't have the fastest internet connection. My verdict, pretty middle of the road performance. But it's not the fastest cloud service by any means, since something like Google Drive would absolutely leave it in the dust. This earns Sync a nice 3.5 for performance and speed. Okay, now let's talk about pricing, because pricing can make a big difference. Sync offers a free plan that gives you 5 gigabytes of storage, which is okay, but not super generous. But if you need more space, which you probably do, Sync offers both individual plans and team plans. For individuals, Solo Basic offers two terabytes for $8 per month, billed annually, or about $96 per year. Yep, there are no monthly plans for Solo Basic. You also get access to features like file versioning for 365 days and password protected sharing. Solo Profession, on the other hand, does offer monthly plans at $24 per month or $20 per month billed annually, which is about $240 per year. Similar to the basic plan, you also get those extra features. Teams Standard at $6 per user per month gives one terabyte per user. It's billed annually though, just like the Solo Basic. Pretty standard stuff so far, not too cheap or expensive. But there is one more plan that I haven't talked about, and that's Teams Unlimited. As the name implies, it gives you unlimited storage. Yep, for $15 per user per month, you can get completely unlimited storage with no strings attached. I cannot tell you just how hard unlimited storage is to come by nowadays, and seeing Sync.com offering that is just a breath of fresh air, making me give Sync a 5 out of 5 for the price leaving us with a total of 21.5. Overall, Sync offers great privacy with zero knowledge encryption, decent storage options, and solid syncing features, but it could improve in areas like user interface and speed. Overall, Sync gets a pretty good score, so it's definitely worth checking out, especially if you need solid security for your files. And don't forget to use the links below to snag some sweet savings. And if you're wondering about our number one cloud storage provider, check out this video.